Today's video is part of a series I'm creating that will include the written response from State Boards of Cosmetology regarding the topic of nail fungus. Specifically, is it legal for nail technicians to work on nails that have nail fungus? If you've been watching me for a while, you know I have no fear discussing topics that people like to confront me about because I gather the facts and have the information to support my statements, so stay tuned. He got out of the service in 71, and we got this letter, and like my address, yeah. and he's in love with hell did you do, and it's so yeah. and he just had his DD-12 come, and he got some medals, he got medals sent in the mail, yeah. from one of the most important steps to restoring your toenails is to recognize the changes and to do something about them early. Don't ignore them for so long that it spreads to your other toenails, but don't you think it's strange that different types of nail fungus can start on only one or two nails and never spread to the rest of the nails? If you have your big toenail and pinky toenail getting thick and changing colors, the very first step is to go up a size in your shoes. Your shoes are too tight and you don't have enough ventilation. That's not normal. My, my dad told me that, you know, um, he's been in place for, my dad had a high security job, and he was in the miracle for years. Mm -hmm. He's like, there are places where, in, whether there's, there's an arm or room or two mm -hmm. in, in rooms or around safes, that if the wrong person touches the door, they That's, shoot him. Yes. <laughs> well, my dad said that they were having some work done in one of the offices, and uh, they had the, uh, the Spanish workmen there yeah. in yeah. history, yeah. and that's it. So he was going to, but my mother... My mother couldn't talk him into that. He tried. Alright, I'm gonna go to the bank. Nice to talk to you. You too. Like I said, you don't get too enamored. Get me. So don't mess. <laughs> like, don't move what? your foot the wrong way or something. Oh my god. <laughs> don't even try to look at your toe wash. It's okay. Go to work. That's <laughs> him. I said, I understand. I was in the industry a long time ago. Did you do hair or nails? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Where do you live? Detroit. Oh, okay. And I work at um, Heidi Salon at Caroline. And it was Marshall Field and then it became Macy's Day. Yep. Sessions. Then Marshall Field. I worked at uh, Hudson's my first job and then I worked at Heidi's my second job. The Heidi's at Briarwood. At, at Briarwood, yeah. And I was at Fairlands. And then I went to Pennsylvania. Okay. It was just, you know, after a while, it just wasn't for hours. Oh my God. My daughter shows me how much she could pay for nails. And designs and things like that. It is just crazy. Yeah. And I was telling her, I said, you know, most of my clients are business women and in the office. Bankers, Absolutely. So. Yeah, mine too. But I did have a couple of strippers. They, they were fun. <laughs> <laughs> they were the ones you could get real creative with. I had to beg and plead. My other clients said, well, Kim, oh, I could go for the shoot for the stars. And I remember I was working at a natural, and a lady came in, and she got a full set, and she wanted all to know it's designed with rhinestones. And the owners of a natural, the almighty dollar, that is it. They didn't care how you did nails, none of that. They just cared about the box. And I remember <laughs> they charged her $70 for the full set. 
and then $70 for the design with the rest. And I was like, what? And she paid for it? Depends on how long it takes to do it. Can't get anything that is some stripes on and some rhinestones or all ten yards. It was just, it was. Back then I was doing designs and paints. I was fast because I had to do a task with my my clients were chasing. <laughs> oh no no no, that's too much. <laughs> You're like, You're all done, bye. Right. Yeah, I was just like a but I'm really in shock how these girls pay two hundred and three hundred dollars for, for nails. And I'm just like, what? I had a game too early. <laughs> I'm gonna work with my dad. Uh. And I was like, yeah, come on, mom, we need to go back and do it. No. None of my clients ask for nail art. Young girls, yeah. I'm like, what did you get this money from? Yeah, I don't know. And then those long, oh my God, the long nails. One girl, one girl um, has some Nicole's. When uh, everyone, okay, I when she came out with her line. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I tried, um, we, um, used the OPI jail system when it first came out. Mm -hmm. 97, 96. We were the first ones to try it to see. I was like, okay, it's just jail. You can't build. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, we can, we can extend. I was like, get out of here. Yeah. But it wasn't as strong as how this polymer stuff is. Yeah, acrylic is the best. Instant, instant gratification. And I used the uh, OPI uh, competition, the rapid with the blue liquid. Oh, yeah. I tried that first. Oh, I was, I was just in a little fairy land. I was just, uh, I'm going to get this like this, I'm going to get this. Today's most liked comment is from Lori Holdred. She says, Lori, I think you are responsible for a seismic shift in the industry. Thank you so much for educating us lay people and training more professionals so that we can get to one. Love you and love to be mesmerized watching your videos. Oddly relaxing. Thanks so much, Lori. It's been an amazing journey developing the education to teach other nail technicians how to take care of toenails that need more help. It's strange that professionals thought it was against the law for so long to work on toenails that have nail fungus. And there is about to be an even bigger shift since I emailed every state board of cosmetology in the United States so I could read some cold hard facts from the sources for those who still don't believe it's legal to help clients with nail fungus. 
I started my online nail academy in 2020 to offer continuing education to nail technicians on subjects that aren't taught in school, but that nail technicians need very much to help clients with numerous situations with their nails. I now have a network of STAR NTs, which stands for Specialty Toenail and Restoration Nail Technicians in 14 countries, but many professionals are still worried they aren't allowed to work on difficult toenails. They just dropped it off. <laughs> Stop. Put that right there. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. cracks me up when doctors tell people stuff that literally they're like soak your feet in Listerine it's like do you realize how long they'd have to soak their feet every, every single day and you can't miss a day I mean it's the coolest thing that they did is um, this doctor came in from this guy and they put, but when you put the pouch on like a bandage, and then you wait it a week, I think it was a week, and you go back in, and they video it and everything, and when they took the pouch off, my dad said the pouch was about this thick. Oh my. I was like, thank you for it. He said, no. Yeah. Is it underlying problems from his diabetes? Uh, 
Well, <laughs> yes and no. Because he's not even registering as a diabetic. Mine. My dad could eat sweets all single all day. No dinner, just sweets. Donuts, cookies, and pop. And his blood sugar does not is not affected. Wow. All. So for some strange reason, it's it's like his pancreas. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, my dad, my dad's guardian angel is exhausted. How old is he? He is seventy four. Oh. Does he have a prosthetic now? Um, he has one. He has to get another one. I know it seems like a lot of skin around the cuticle area that I've already removed so far on both feet, but just wait until you see how much more comes off when the foot comes out of the water from the second soak. And I don't want you to miss around the 26 minute mark how much impacted skin the nail on the other foot, the big toe. Keep it. Yep. Because it's not doing us any good. Mm -mm. Because we use this pension money to pay for medicine. And this, and I'm like, So do you have neuropathy in your feet? No, not with this one, kind of. I had surgery. I fell and tore all the ligaments in it. Oh. And they went in and cleaned it out. I had debris. I had pictures and everything. I was like, ew, this is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so the big toe and the toe next to it is numb sometimes. And that's from the surgery. How long ago did you have that done? 2013. Oh, they never, they haven't regenerated your um, nerves yet? Mm-mm. Uh -uh. Wow. Um, but I can feel it. Yeah. But it's like, you better tell me how much money you need, and I'll transfer it, and I gotta go. She she was my she was my my first baby. She How was, much younger? We're five years apart. Oh, okay. And I mean, she is a spoiled brat. To this day, <laughs> she is spoiled. She's her and my daughter. They double team. Does she have her own kids yet? Mm -hmm. They're not going to have any. I don't know if, um, I was going to be their surrogate. And um, they decided not to. Um, she has what they call Turner syndrome. She was born without her growth hormone. Oh. So she could get pregnant, but she would miscarry. Oh. Three, four months. And I didn't want her to have to go through that. So Big Sis was going to be the surrogate. And kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing, me and my, we all see the same OB, she went in and we were trying to get her to commit, her and her husband, but they were so busy shopping and traveling and I told her, no, that's it, she has her kids. Yeah. 28 to 32 every year. <laughs> One day, my brother-in-law called and he was like, you know what? Because I had that. So I had to have that. His record for pushing it back to give her this baby because he yeah. I said, oh, okay. Y'all remember that. <laughs> it's so funny after 
because she, she loves to harm my daughter. Double team me, especially if they're out at the mall. Oh, they like to come join me while I'm going to the mall to go get something. A lot of times they leave with something and mm. I don't. Oh gosh. And I was the one going. You're the one that needed something. Right. I was the one going to the mall to get something. So how did you guys come on my shopping trip? And finagle gifts. And I get nothing. And it's funny because one day I had a blue and my daughter called me. I was at work. And my daughter called me. So, Ma, will you tell Auntie that when you die that I get all of your vintage bags and and your shoes and, and your coats and furs and things? I went, I had to stop working. I was going to say, what now? <laughs> are, are you guys planning yeah, you guys are arguing over my belongings. And, and I, what? <laughs> She's like, yes, and the luggage. I'm like, okay. I'm going to have to change some things here about uh, who's my benefit. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, just out of the blue. They were arguing at my parents' house. Who was getting what? They want your stuff. Yeah. That's funny. And my daughter is the only child, the only grandchild. And my husband, his brother, and his wife, they have two girls. I said, well, honey, you had a good run. I her cousin, the first daughter, the six years ago. And then they just had a little girl three years ago. Okay. She's so... <laughs> something else. I'm telling you, they were having a boy and she was so gun ho on naming him Dylan. Well, that's her name. <laughs> Aww. <Dylan. laughs> she is so funny. It's a cute name for a girl, too, though, I guess. Mm hmm.
ready to start wearing open-toed shoes. Yeah. We bought some new ones that match my little Now that I've removed a lot of the excess skin from around the sidewall and the free edge, I can now see how much more of the nail I can safely remove. Remove, and that dark yellow area is a sign that there is some compacted material underneath that nail. And you've been using the nail mycosis product? The... Have you been using the drops to put on your toes? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. So you'll want to get some of that before you leave and you're going to put a drop on in the morning and a drop on the evening and as your toenail grows out this will disappear and uh, reattach to your skin. Have you been at your job for a long time? Mm-hmm. 26 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. I guess I'm going to look at incentives for the time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have you put this back in the water and let that soak for a few more minutes. Okay. And have a little brush on it. Sometimes the discomfort people feel when their toenails appear thick is from the compacted skin that's underneath the nail. So you have to clean and soak and gently remove all of that skin until you're able to pull that material out from underneath the free edge of the nail. Well, your toenails were way too thick for that product to ever penetrate into the toenail to get to what is affecting <laughs> the problem in the first place. Mm -hmm. So all of this compacted material that's underneath your toes mm -hmm. is pushing your nail upwards. Uh, mm -hmm. So we need to get this cleaned out so the nail mycosis product can soak in under and around to soften it all so your toenail relaxes. Mm -hmm. 
and then as your toenail grows up it will reattach so the stuff will stop getting stuck underneath there. in four weeks you're gonna say oh my gosh my toes haven't felt better in 18 right, years Did your toes ache all the time from the pressure? No, that's good. I was crying just like something. How long had you been watching my channel before you decided to come see me? Uh, about, about two years. Okay. I would just watch and I never 
realized how close I was. <laughs> <laughs> and one one episode, it was a lady that came in from out of state. She drove. I think the before and after photos are coming right up. I'm like, Damn, that's it. <laughs> And it was like two, three o'clock in the morning. I said, hmm. And I Googled the name of the ridiculous napkin and it came up. And I'm like, the salon came up. And I said, no, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the, like I said, it was like yeah. in the morning. <laughs> I'm like, no, this is what I'm looking for. And I'm reading, I'm reading, I went, oh, that's so small. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, I'm reading, and I'm like, sweet. Really? We go to Briarwood Mall to go shopping. I said, yeah. well, if I can come out here to go shopping, I think I can come and have my feet done. Yes. And my mother was like, yes. Yeah. Thanks so much for staying tuned for the before and after photos. I hope you learned a couple of new tips today. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a specific question or situation addressed for an upcoming video topic. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.